This is one method for integrating a worm compost project with a garden, or especially in an area that has a lot of depleted soil. Now, this is not depleted soil. There are a lot of worms and has a lot of organic matter, but I did this as a test of something called a worm tower. This is, these are two five gallon buckets. The bottom one has holes drilled throughout the side and then also some in the bottom and then on top is the middle section of another five gallon bucket that's been pushed into the top to lengthen the whole piece a bit. This tower is then dropped down into a hole, dug a hole that's not quite as deep as the bucket with a little extra space to add some compost around. As I showed in a previous video, this is a worm compost tote that I've been uh, keeping up since November, about six months ago. It's got a lot of, I started out with 35 red wigglers and now it's got a lot. Um, last count there were 120, but um, a lot more than that, I think now. Um, each week I'll mix in some of the non-acidic vegetable and uh, fruit scraps that we have and the worms eat them creating nutrient rich castings which uh, are great for a garden so the concept behind this is that the bucket is in the hole and worms can move in through the holes around the perimeter and eat compost that you deposit in the bucket and so each week uh, I'll come out and I'll dump whatever I have, um, including more acidic things. These are all things that I would put into this container, things like eggshells and banana peels, apple cores, uh, lettuce, these are some flowers. Um, I'd also put things like coffee grounds and orange peels. The only thing you should really avoid in something like this would be milk products, fats and greases, uh, and meat. Anything else, any organic matter is would be good in this kind of a system. The worms can go in through the holes, consume the organic matter, and then take it out directly to the root system of your garden. And worms are great at replenishing soil, depositing organic matter throughout your soil and also creating little spaces uh, that, that aerate the soil and also allow water to filtrate through it. So first of all, before I install this, I'll put some of this uh, compost from my worm farm down into the bottom, a couple inches in the bottom. And of course, there are already some worms in there. I'll put my bucket here and then uh, continuing to take this I'll fill in a couple inches around the sides. So this creates some non-compacted space around the bucket and I'm also getting a lot of worms in there at the same time. Let's see if you hear uh, red Wigglers fill in all around the perimeter. This bucket, another uh, advantage of the bucket is that it creates a space for the young worms to be protected from predators like moles. Moles can't enter into the compost area. Oh, here we have a whole bunch. Um, it's a very small worms here as well that were grouped around something I put in a couple weeks ago. Looks like uh, some banana peel perhaps. I'll put these in around the outside and fill in compost all around the perimeter of the bucket. I'll probably do some mulching yet here on top, so I left, as you notice, a little extra space above 
the level of the soil so that I can add some mulch. Well, I've got a lot of worms here. I'm going to put some of them down inside the bucket because I don't intend to keep this up over the summer. Each week I'll add more organic matter and then as compost builds up in here I can take that out and throw it in the garden or use it for potting somewhere else. Fill in a little extra topsoil around the top. We need to build it up slightly. And what I'll do is put a either a clay lid or a cap of some kind on top of here so that it stays cooler and animals can't come and try to dig the uh, compost that I've put in that bucket out. So this is a worm tower, a way to increase the organic matter and the health of soil that's been depleted.